Joining me on the show today for an interesting conversation and to discuss what his company is doing to help enforce the rights of the artists, writers, and creators of the entertainment world is Mr. Christopher Sabeck, CEO and President of Rights Corp, Inc. I'm an entertainment attorney by training. I uh, started out in 1992 representing uh, the, uh, Dave Matthews Band and helping launch uh, their career. I did the deals, uh, put them in place uh, with BMG and RCA, et cetera, and they're still operating under those entities today. I then, around 1994, 95, I switched hats and decided I wanted to become a manager, and I discovered and managed the band Hanson. You might remember them yes. from the pop music days, Umbop. And uh, I managed them for eight years. Uh, we sold um, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of product for Polygram and Universal. We had a number one record in 27 countries, and we chased that record. So I got to go do business with them on uh, 30 countries on five continents. And subsequent to that, I was hired by the Jerry Garcia family to move to Northern California and build a business out of the intellectual property assets that he left to his heirs when he passed away. So I had the name and likeness. I had visual art. I had uh, the music outside the Grateful Dead, so the Jerry, Gar band, the Jerry Garcia band, and um, tracks like that. And I also helped manage a, a, an interest in the Grateful Dead on behalf of the family, a non-voting interest. And Roberts, you know, the music and entertainment industry has gone through many changes over the past 15 years. Album sales are at an all-time low in the United States, while vinyl sales are at the highest in 15 years. And in tech-oriented Japan, CDs still account for 85% of album sales. The current state of the music industry is anyone's guess. Now, what will these industries look like 15 years from now? Well, one thing we know for sure is that technology is transforming the way music and entertainment is created, shared, and enjoyed. And where we will go from here is hard to predict. You know, for decades, the music industry has warned that illegal copying of music threatens the industry's future, or even the existence of music itself. Broadband internet led to a worldwide blossoming of countless perfect digital copies. Copyright infringement has soared and profits have fallen. The music industry attempted to crush piracy using a strong-arm legal tactics and technological fixes, including copy protection and digital rights management on CDs and digital files like MP3s, but both have really failed. For years now, the music and movie industries have been calling on the internet service providers to do more to stop their customers from accessing illegal sources of content. It seems that more people are listening to a greater and a wider variety of music than ever before, the barriers to entry are dropping, and improved curation approaches and filters are being introduced regularly. Join